Even though it is still summertime, manufacturers have already begun shipping their flu vaccines. And scientists said today they may have found the key to fighting future flu outbreaks in survivors of the deadliest pandemic on record some 90 years ago. Priya David has more. At 96, Ruth Milk still walks with a spring in her step and a strength she says she's had since she cheated death as a child. The Lord doesn't want me for a while. Or I got something I have to do down here. I don't know. <laughs> Perhaps that something is to help researchers find new ways to fight the flu. When Ruth was six years old, the devastating 1918 influenza virus swept the globe, killing as many as 100 million people. In the United States, over a quarter of the population got sick. I was delirious, and the doctor came and said he wouldn't come back because... I was going to die that night, so he wouldn't have to come back again. In a study begun in 2006, researchers drew blood from Milks and 31 other 1918 survivors to find the antibodies that saved them. The question is to try to figure out, A, a way to, to fight it if it comes back, and B, to understand it better. Today, almost a century after the world's worst pandemic, researchers report success. But if the virus ever came back, it could be helpful to treat it and it also uh, explains a method that would be helpful to, to make a vaccine to prevent it. And fight future viruses. Researchers suspect the 1918 flu started in birds, much like the present day virus named H5N1, the so-called avian flu. While avian flu mostly affects birds, since 2003, it's infected 385 people, killing 243 of them. This suggests a method uh, to find antibodies against, against the bird flu. Plus, researchers say the antibodies they found in the survivors are unusually potent, strong enough to protect them from the 1918 flu virus even now. I just came through it fine, like I always, always seem to ever since. <laughs> I've always been very healthy. One of the researchers also told us the survivors are in phenomenal shape for their age and that the doctors want to study if the 1918 flu antibodies boosted the survivors' overall immune systems. Russ. Priya David, thank you very much.